Welcome to IBC 2023. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries. Exploring groundbreaking innovation across 13 halls right here in Amsterdam. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me is Jamie of Adder Technology. Hello. Hi, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So, Jamie, can you tell me how does Adder Technology fit in right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Yeah, of course. So, we're a KVM specialist and we're uh, really one of the companies that are offering the complete portfolio for media and entertainment. So, we offer solutions for uh, radio studios, TV, live broadcasting, control rooms, MCRs, right through to the highest level of post production um, performance and color grading. So we're providing KVM for every aspect of media and entertainment. Very nice. And so what trends are you seeing right now um, as far as technology yeah. in the media and broadcasting industry? Yeah, so in our world, it's very much supporting the, you know, the evolution of technology that customers are going through. For us, that always means higher resolutions, uh, supporting new peripherals. This year, we're talking a lot to customers about remote access technologies, um, their adoption of HDR content and, and being able to support that within the edit suites, um, and also the adoption of virtualization and how that's fitting in around what has been a very physical infrastructure in KVM and now how we access the virtual world as well, which is something we're bringing with our AdLink Infinity 3000 product. And so is that something new here? What, what's new here at IBC that you're showcasing? Yeah, so we're showing new features in that product that we've launched, so new platforms that we're supporting, um, adding support for um, software like HTML files that people want to access, um, and also things like VNC as well, along with RDP and SSH and other things we're offering. But here, really, we're focusing on our brand new product, which is the AdLink Infinity 1102 model, the new 1000 series product. Um, which we're showcasing, and, and that's the first time it's being seen here. And can you tell me a little bit more about that? What's what are the highlights of that? Yeah, of course. So this is our brand new DisplayPort single head model. Um, single head KVM is kind of the core of everything we do. It's uh, you know the most popular systems that we sell are based around that single head model, um, and we're bringing DisplayPort technology. Uh, we're now supporting dual link resolutions there, and we're bringing our high speed USB capability um, that Adders developed with our True Emulation technology into one platform. New form factor, much smaller, easier for customers to adopt and build out these really core systems in their infrastructure. And so who would you say you're targeting with your new products and practices? Yeah, so that particular product is ideal for really that whole portfolio of uh, applications. So we're talking a lot this week to outside broadcast trucks where form factor is really critical. Uh, we've been talking a lot in terms of TV and radio galleries um, where fast switching, ease of access is important. Um, and obviously as we go even into post-production, although we're showing 4K, UHD, dual head, HDR, there's still a lot of applications that require just a simple, straightforward KVM solution with HD as well in those markets. Um, of course, because it's a portfolio of products, it all fits together under one umbrella, and therefore the advantage for the customer is they can adopt all these different KVM pieces from Adder, build out one system that's all interconnected. Nice. And what would you say we could expect from Adder Technology in the near future? Yeah, so I talked about virtualization. Of course, we'll continue to, to make sure that we're supporting the platforms that customers are using. That's a real key area. Um, I think as we look forward into uh, the future, we're introducing very shortly some new features, particularly for command and control. So you'll see those coming through shortly um, and actually helping customers even just use our products in radio, for example. They want to be able to um, manage things like auto login, so you're going to see more of that. Um, and that's also really applicable into the TV broadcast control rooms and, and the outside broadcast environments as well. So, yeah, more control room features just around the corner as well. Very good. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us today, and we hope you have a great rest of the show. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.